How UT officials said they will remove any maroon blue bonnets they find on the grounds and take away the seeds. Now the coordinator for irrigation and water conservation says that any maroon blue bonnet seen next year will be pulled immediately. While it hasn't been officially proven, many suspect the maroon blue bonnets were planted as a prank by Texas A&M fans since they showed up only in select flower beds at the base of the UT Tower. The maroon blue bonnet was developed by horticulturists at, well, surprise, Texas A&M. <laughs>